Well, wouldn't it be nice to buy nothing this holiday season, but still be able to give and receive gifts? You're in luck. There's now an app for that. In this Price of Paradise report tonight, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows how the Buy Nothing project exploded in popularity during the pandemic and could help you save a penny or even Christmas. The Buy Nothing Project launched in 2013 is a free service run completely by volunteers. There's no trading, no exchanges, and no bartering. Say you want a toaster. You get the toaster, but you don't like it. Just gift it to someone else. It's the holiday season after all, so maybe you want a lot of different things. Well, put it out in the universe on their app and then wait for people to come to you and possibly you could get everything. We all collect a lot of junk, some of it old, some new. For parents, it could be piles of toys. For budding chefs, kitchen appliances we thought would make the perfect dish, all of it cluttering our lives. Shopping and consumerism for some out of control. Why buy it when you can get it for free? But I've seen amazing things, and so I have hope that I can hold and get one gift it to me by a neighbor, and that'll be much more special than buying something from Target. Shiroz Badrudin joined the nonprofit in 2016, gifting her time and energy as the administrator of her community's local Facebook page. In today's broken supply chains, Badrudin suggests turning to a cashless economy. And you're not going to stores, and you're not dependent on a supply chain, and you're not looking at prices. When the world changed, the Buy Nothing Project exploded. But when the lockdown started in March 2020, our membership grew by 2 million participants. In that time, we've been able to develop an app so that others may join who don't wish to stay on Facebook to yeah. participate. We have now 4 million participants at, on over 44 countries and about 6,800 Facebook groups. On Black Friday, the nonprofit launched their first app on Apple and Android. Just a really cool way to reduce, reuse, recycle, and help out your fellow neighbors. Shaboa Peralta is a community builder working to migrate people from Facebook to their brand new all-encompassing app. When I signed up, it showed no one in the Tampa area. Peralta says that will change as the 4 million plus users make the switch. It's a community. You know, it brings back neighbors together how we should be. We get to know each other. We help each other. Where we do just about everything that, you know, how it used to be with neighbors. Every day, millions of people in buy nothing communities all over the world save money. The movement constantly growing. They're launching their first podcast with tips and tricks to save money, buy nothing, donate your time, and in the end, just be a better human. This app really can fill a gap where people are struggling right now, do you think? Absolutely. And what the app does that I think is most important is it allows autonomy and dignity in filling those needs. Anyone with the app can ask for what they need and can share what they need. And they don't have to share that they're asking for something because they don't have the funds. They're just participating in the circular gift economy. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. Here is the price point. We're told some people gifted a used car to someone in need. The app is free and it's all about giving anything away you think someone wants for free. The goal isn't to be greedy, but to be socially conscious, reduce waste, and maybe get some cool gifts in the process.